guys, um, I forgot to film a intro for this video, so I'm gonna do it now. Um, but basically, context is, it's a, we're going to a, well, we went to a kilo vintage sale today, which was so, so cool. It was all COVID perm permitted. You had to pre-buy your tickets, you got sanitizer on the door, face mask, all of that stuff. Um, but yeah, no, it was really great, and I wanted to vlog it so that you guys could see. So yeah, I hope you enjoy. <laughs> Seven pounds. Fifty-seven. How much is yours? Twenty-two fifty. Twenty-two. Twenty-five. Lauren. So I lose yet again. I think I got some good stuff, and I'll show you when I'm back. It's raining. We just got out, um, but it was really good, wasn't it? Yeah, really good. And I think the cool thing was is that there was like lots of rails spaced out, so there was like loads of stuff to like choose from, and big wash tonight. Massive, big wash. massive fashion big wash. show, massive show of everything and I think I think like 70% of the stuff I've got I'm gonna like flip and then the other 30% I think I'm gonna like change it up oh plastic my face change it up and like um sew it and just I have the vision but I don't know if it's gonna work out but we'll see um but yeah we're just walking back into the middle of right now to see my friends um and yeah and then we'll do a little haul later Get a friend that will carry your massive load, like for the kilo sales. And I've just got his like 40 shirt. Somehow, we just went into another vintage shop after being at a vintage kilo fair and I spent another 60 quid. Oh my god, this is dangerous. I am a liability. I've just left my friends now. I felt so bad. I made like I gave them like a five kilogram bag. I was like, can you take this back to the house? Um, so that's gonna get me house points with my housemates, so that's great. Um, but yeah, I just I don't know what's wrong with me today. I'm normally so good at like not spending stuff and then I, today I've literally literally spent like three weeks on my uni budget, but anyway, we're in the last ten days, so you can't really say much. But yeah, I'm trying to now find my way to see Mara and Sam, um, which will be really nice because I feel like also really bad that I came down to spend time with them and I spent like an hour and a half shopping for like vintage clothes, but yeah, anyway. I spy Mara and Sam, two very sociable bunnies. <laughs> Where it's been a massive whirlwind of 24 hours, but um, I am back home now, and Mara and Sam have gone, um, and we're all just chilling um, and putting our stuffs in the stuffs, our stuff that we got in the washing machine um, because obviously it all stinks of like um, vintage sale vibes, which if you know, you know, it's not great. But also, I'm going to do a proper thing. I, I promise I will. But this. I was gonna cut up and make a top out of like a little, I don't know, like a cross top at the front. Um, but I just tried it on and I was like, oh my God. And it actually, I have to like show you properly, but it looks so good as a dress. And I was like, I may as well just keep it as a dress and then when I get bored of it, like upcycle it into a top. But like, I think that's the beauty of vintage fairs, isn't it? Like you can just pick up something and then you be creative and then you don't know like, how it's going to end up. Anyway, yeah, I got loads of bits. Um, and then I went to that shop and spent another 60 quid on stuff that I didn't need. But I say I didn't need. No, no, I, I didn't need it. I can't justify it. Um, but yeah, I think I might, I might actually do the try and haul now. I'll do it now. So I can't, I don't have much room in my tiny uni room, but we're going to work with it. So this, ignore the belt. This is just the scarf I'm using for now was I was going to cut this up um, and make it into like a little cross top but then I tried it on and I was like actually I really like it as a dress I mean like it is very in your face but I love it and like you can wear it so many ways like this 
like this. I love it. So this was a very good purchase. I don't know if I'm gonna like look back and I'm gonna do that was horrendous, but I like it for now, okay? So that's the main thing. So yeah, this is the first thing. And yeah, normally like I can't do like prices or anything because it was all part of the 57 pounds, but you'll see whether you think it's good value for what I've got. It's probably not, you're probably gonna be like, why did you buy that? But anyway, yeah, so this is the first thing and I cannot wait to wear it this summer because I think it's just gonna be amazing. So this is the second, second and third. So the jumper was from the Hilo sale and the dungarees were from God, I wish I could remember the shop. Oh, I'll tag it. It's the shop we went into secondly where I spent the second um, 60 quid, but they're shorts, I don't know if you can see. Um, but like anyone that knows me knows that I love dungarees and I love this colour and they're like so light. So I thought they're perfect for the summer as well. As, as well. Um, and this jumper is, yeah, my favourite part. So I'm so happy with this. Next, I got quite a few tops which actually I showed Luke and he was like, on oh, FaceTime, and he was like, don't like them. I just don't like the style of top. And I've got like loads of them. So now I don't know whether I'm gonna wear them. But anyway, not because like he doesn't like them, I don't wanna wear them, but then I'm kind of like, well, makes me like question it, but I'll probably just wear them just for the sake of wearing them. But anyway, so yeah, this is one of them. Just a little tie at the back. And I think this is such a cute style for summer. And I showed you the other one, but you can wear them like in so many different ways. So I think they're such a great little accessory. Right. This is the next style of top that I got. Again, same again, it's a scarf. This one is a bit loose, so I'll need to like adjust it. But this is how I think this one looks best. Um, yeah, super love. Okay, this is the next one, but like I'm not 100% sure that I like this. Like I think, I'm not sure. I just don't think it like suits me very much, the color. Um, so yeah, I probably will pop this one on Depop unless I change. I don't know, no, it doesn't suit me, it doesn't suit me, it doesn't suit me. So the next thing I got was this um, Ralph Lauren, like, checkered shirt. I w wish this, would, like, imagine this was white, um, which I thought would be cute because you could like, I'm gonna try it now, but it might not look good at all. And I'm not sure like if tying things just isn't, I don't know whether it goes in me, but I thought that, or, I don't know, maybe I'll sell it. I can't decide. But yeah, this is number, I can't remember what number we're on. Number part of 150, not 150, it's just 57 pounds to spend. But yeah, so little Ralph Lauren shirt. And I got this, I got this shirt for my sister because she loves green, but I actually really like it. So it's really cozy and like comfy. So yeah, so is Jen. I don't think you're going to be getting this one back. Um, but I, I might go off it because it's like a, it's almost like a neon green. So, yeah, I'm not sure. We might change our mind on this. This is the other thing that I got for my sister. She just wanted a green and blue flannel shirt. So I think I've done a good job with this one. It's not this top. You can't see it. I'm going to have to like try to stand on my ugly red chair. Okay. Okay. Ta-da! Just the trousers that everyone has. My sister wants because into that stage in life but anyway yeah she just wanted some adidas stripes <gasps> oh. just these to be fair like they are really comfy and they do go with everything i just know that everyone has them i just kind of think they're a bit boring but anyway that's what my gen my gen gen my sister wants jenna wants so um yeah i got them and then did i get anything else from the fair yeah i did i got some stuff for luke okay and then this is what i got for luke um He's probably editing this right now. Hi, Mum. Um, so, yeah, I got this for him. He said, I showed it to him. I was like, I've done something really nice. I got you like a, just a grey Ralph Lauren tee because he's not like big into like patterns and stuff. And he was like, well, what size is it? I was like, well, well, I don't know. I just like picked it off the rail. And he was like, well, what size is it? And I was like, oh, it's extra, extra large. I'm like, well, that's not going to fit me. We didn't say it like that. He was like, well, that's going to be too big. But, you know, I was like, if you don't want it, I'll just sleep in it. But I think it's really cool, like this size. So, this is Luke's, but probably will end up being mine. Okay, so that was all that the crazy things. And then I just got this one other thing, which I wanted to show you. Another scarf, shock horror. Um, but this one, I'm hoping, I'll see if I can go back and show you. But like with a bikini in the summer to like tie around, just to have like a little cover up. Because I just don't, I don't know what it is, but I get really worried about my bum being out in summer and like everyone seeing it. So I kind of thought, solves the problem. Um, and then I've got, I got other stuff? Yes, 
I've got two other things from another shop that I need to show you now. So this is for Luke 2, it's just like a, um, what's it called, corduroy, that's it, corduroy, like tan beige shirt. I just thought it would look really nice on him. Um, and he could just wear it to work or in the summer. I really like it. Maybe I won't give it to him. No, I'm joking, I will. I can just steal it. But yeah, I got this, super nice. Right, okay. And then this, this I'm gonna get those hate for. I did cave and I did literally just say that my sister wants to wear these trousers that everyone else wears, but I bought this. It's just basically, I mean, it is really nice, and, but it's nothing like super special. It's just like a Nike um, hoodie. I think it's like vintage 2000s. Um, but I've really, really wanted, and I really do want a beige, yeah, like I said, a beige crew neck jumper from Nike, but they didn't have it. And then I was speaking to the guy in the shop and um, he was really cool and he was really nice. And he was like telling me that if I emailed, emailed them, if I um, messaged them on Instagram um, and said that I was looking for it, that they could maybe see if they could find it in the next time they go looking for stock. So I was like, okay. And then I was literally just checking out with the dungarees that I showed you from the, one of the first outfits. And then I saw this and I was like, oh, that's quite cool. And I saw it and it was like 48 pounds. And I was like, no, you don't need it. You're gonna put that money towards the one that you really, really do want. Um, and I was like chatting to him about it. And he was like, well, if it was me, I didn't price that, I would have priced it lower. And I was like, oh really? And I was like, yeah, I'll give it to you for 42. And then when someone says to you, I'll give it to you for 42, I was like, oh, do I, I don't need it, I don't need it. And I was like, every part of my brain was like, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. And I was like, oh, go on then. Because, right, hear me out. I think it's one of those things, be amazing for summer, so warm, so comfy, it's really cool, goes with everything. But at the end of summer, I can just sell it on and I'll just get the money back for it. So, I don't think it was too much of a bad investment. Oh my god, there's one other thing I didn't show you, but I don't like it. This flannel shirt. Another one. I bought this, it's the first thing I picked up from, like, the rails. And, like, it's just a bit gross, like, I just... This colour, it's okay, like, it's really nice, but... It's just not special, like it doesn't stand out to me. So I'll probably pop this on Depop now. Otherwise I could keep it as a painting shirt, but I'd rather get the money for it. So yeah, that's my little um, vintage haul situation thing where I spent too much money. So that kind of like concludes the video. I hope it wasn't too boring for you and I wasn't too rambling on and you were like, oh, why did you buy all that stuff? It's just rubbish. Um, but anyway, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, make sure you like and subscribe. Ah, I'm gonna have to get used to saying that. Um, but no, I, we really appreciate the support, both of us. And like, it might be a bit weird, like, sus oh my god, I can't say it. Subscribing to a channel which is like Luke and Elia, but then like it's just an Elia video. Um, but Luke will do his stuff, and like I can't wait to see him. Like the last time I saw him was when you guys saw the video. So ages ago. Actually, no, it was a week before that because we put the video up a week later. But yeah. Um, hopefully we'll be doing a video together soon but yeah thank you so 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 much for watching and hopefully a new video will be coming soon